Today we're going to have a look at um, military bases in Belarusia. Um, when you Google it and you look for pictures, you can see here is a global security org and they have seven bases. Uh, there are a few more here on this uh, Russian map, but it is not really that good. Now, if we go to Wikipedia, uh, that usually is quite good. We can see there are a number of bases here, one, two, three, four, five, six. And of course, then if you add the, the airports, um, it will be a lot better. But I felt there should be a lot more bases. Now, this is my map. Um, here you can see the bases I found. And I use about 80 different uh, ways to find um, information in open source intelligence. And today I will show you one of them. As you might notice, uh, we have military bases. They look like this. Uh, we have air bases. They look like this. And we have a shooting range and a practice ground. And there are some houses. And these houses are the ones that are currently important. One of the things I do when I search is I go to the Ministry of Defense of the country I'm looking at. In this case, uh, the Republic of Belarusia. And what I do then is I look for the army page and I look for housing. Uh, this is Russian, this uh, is the housing policy. Let's go to an English version of that housing policy. And when you do that, you will see that you have different ways of housing policies, but one of them is rental housing. Now, that means that the army provides housing for people, uh, for soldiers, so that they can uh, have a place to stay when they have to be close to a base. This is, of course, very nice. Um, here we have a base I would like you to see. It's actually a storage base. Uh, Novo Kolo Sovo village, and then there is a street now we copy this here is novo kolosov storage base and here's the military housing now we we'll first look at the military housing so we have um we have a small town with a sports field there's a bar, a mini market, a bank. Um, now, why would the military have housing here in, in this area? They would only have that if they have something close by. And I found this place actually not too difficult. It was relatively easy to find this place. Um, let's make it a bit bigger. This looks like a storage place. Now, if we look here, We see we have either somebody that really likes to collect military vehicles or it's a military storage. So this is one way of finding um, information. You go to uh, the ministry, you look at housing and then you find housing. Now let's look at some other housing. Um, here we have Again, a bunch of military housing that people can apply for. And then we just simply zoom out and we start looking. And here we find a military base. See, kind, kind of like putting an airplane in front of the base is, is a bit of a giveaway. It's kind of like really easy. Here is military housing. And I have no idea what is close by, but let's have a look. Ah, okay. Um, we zoom out and we see here is a structure. And the people that have seen my um, map of Iran, they, they know there are over like 50 um, radar bases. And here we have a VHF transmitter base. So... Uh, this was one of the ways uh, for me to find it. I will switch on the housing. 
Um, here's the military structure, Ministry of Defense, etc. It, it's yeah, it's just a building. It's not that interesting. One of the other ways I use to find things is um, I will then look at the different military branches. Uh, and you can uh, click on that and then you will get news. And of course you, you will have to use Google Translate to get it translated, but um, for example here we, we have a good example. Uh, the enemy did not pass at the Goshi training ground. They had an exercise. So thank you, then I know where this training ground is. That's very kind of you. Here we have uh, issue number something, seven, I believe. And here again, at the Dubrovici training ground in the Ryazan region, they had an exercise. Now I know that it, this is a training ground in Russia. Um, so I can put a pin there because now I have confirmed that it's a training ground. Let's see if there are other things. Air Force. Yeah, um, here we. Here we can find really a lot of information. Um, it's very friendly of them. Here's an interesting one. This says, uh, do not talk, let me translate it. Do not talk, do not chat, do not give information away. Um, okay, do not chat, don't publish, do not betray. And then there's a long story where they tell you that you shouldn't give any information away. Uh, which of course makes absolute sense because as a military you don't want to give information away. But then at the other hand, maybe you shouldn't tell where people can get apartments um, because that kind of gives kind of a lot of information away. Okay, so this is a Spetsnaz base. Uh, we have some airfields. Let's have a look at an airfield. I know people like to use that. Of course, as always, there will be a map um, that you can download and then you can look at it. Uh, pretty standard airfield. Here are uh, concrete structures to put in the airplanes. I think we might have some airplanes here. No, no airplanes. Maybe if we go back in time. Ah, here are some airplanes. That's one here. Well, as always, um, if you have any questions, I will in I will make more videos and explain what kind of uh, tricks I use to get information. Um, thanks for watching. I will leave uh, some links in the description, um, including the map.